What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me. So those who've been following along have seen me working on this sea monster uh, painting inspired by this old map from like the 1500s. And today I'm going to be adding a ship to this image and it's going to be a really cool little touch that I think you'll like. First thing I wanted to say is I put down some slow dry gel here. Uh, I've been experimenting with that a bit just to see how it works and the intention was to increase the ability to blend the paint. What I was trying to do here was just add a little sunset effect to to create some contrast between the background and the ship that I'm going to be adding. I think it fits into the overall vibe of the piece to, to have it be a little bit of a strange color combination, this purple and pink. So the next thing for me to do is just to start uh, dropping in the ship using some burnt umber. And I'm basically just freehanding this, using the old map as reference and a few photos that I found online. I want to talk a little bit about light source. There, light source is obviously important, but in this case, this is a fantasy scene. It's a total, it's an image that is drawn from imagination. So who knows what the light source really is? It's, you know, just a bright light coming from the viewer's perspective. So not realistic at all, but, you know, I need to add light to, you know, lighter areas and darker areas of gradation to the ship. And later you'll see to the sails. Uh, even on the mast, you can see one side's lighter than the other. And I'm doing that just to give the form um, weight, you know, so it feels like a real object in, in space and that there's you know, some dimension to it, if you will. I had a lot of fun doing this. You know, I was thinking about, like, if I was on the ship or the people that were on the ship, you know, what they might be able to see from this vantage point. You know, are they coming? Are they going? Are there a whole group of these sea monsters that they've been navigating through, or are they more worried about the weather? I mean, it looks like it's a pretty rough sea. I don't know. I get a kick out of thinking that, about things like that as I'm working on images like this. And hopefully this kind of imagery will get the juices flowing in other people's imaginations and they can imagine different things happening within the scene. And, uh, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts around that. Once I got the ship put in place, you know, then I went back in front of it with um, the same technique I used in the other videos, uh, splashing some paint onto the painting to make it look like uh, waves were crashing into the side of the ship. And then I went back around the edges of this whole piece here. That's what I'm doing now. I went back around the edges, uh, adding in some black because I am going to get this frame. This piece is going to be in a show upcoming and um, I want to make sure there's enough room around the edges so the frame doesn't encroach too much into the painting. Putting the ship in it really did add a lot in my mind. It really kind of completes the piece. Um, this is one of those things where I feel like I could just keep going and keep going. I know that, I could do better than I than I did here, but at the same time, this is something new for me, and I am proud of uh, what I was able to accomplish um, with tackling a new subject matter like this. And I hope that others are also encouraged to push their abilities and skills and try new things. And yeah, let me know what you think. If you haven't seen the other two videos related to this one, I uh, highly encourage you to go check those out. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you stuck around this long, especially, um, thank you so much. Have a good one.